what's up guys welcome back to another video hope you all good and well right in front of me i have the jordan one i lost and found i have two pairs at the moment they are currently restocking again on foot patrol size images as page raffles so keep an eye on that by the time this video does come out so these are still in stock at the moment so they're going to be restocking randomly for a couple of weeks and then when all the stock goes up it's done and dusted that's your last chance of getting them at retail Gone. But let's have a look at the lost and found Jordan ones today. Touch to it. And there it is. This is the UK5 Jordan 1 I lost and found. Let's go for a full walk through the shoe now. You just close everything in here. You want to make sure you don't damage this paper if you are selling the shoe because then yeah, you probably end up failing the verification just because of the damage of the shoe. So let's start off with the materials. Over here, mainly the whole shoe is leather based. Leather, this is, I don't know what kind of texture this is. It's not, this is not leather. This is all leather, very nice and soft. And uh, the quality control on the shoe is not really on point. I'm not gonna lie. I do see you know, the marks of the glue over here. And uh, around here as well, you get to see the blue mark. I don't know if the camera is catching this, but yeah, there are some scuff marks around the shoe as well. I mean, I haven't done anything to the shoe, I've only opened it twice, and this is the second time I've opened it right in front of you. But yeah, um, yeah, the quality is okay. For, I mean, better than the previous releases so far this year, and uh, yeah, it's, it's okay, it's not bad. You get two sets of laces as well. You get the white ones and the black ones. I mean, really, I personally go for the white ones, but I don't mind putting the black ones on this as well. Maybe because the tick is black and I want to have the black laces on this, and I think I can style it much better. But uh, yeah, it really comes down to your choice, your style of preference, how you want to style up with Jordan, you want to lost the founds, and what laces you want to go with. But it's like white marks on the shoe over here at the bottom, just giving that nice touch to it. And this over here looks like it's worn out, it's got like mold or something on it and the leather is coming up but this is how it needs to be. So if you got this don't worry, it's normal, this is how it should be the shoe. It's just you know bringing back the memories and just making sure that the shoe it, you know, it has that touch of the, the historic touch of the Chicago kind of way. The original 1985 shoe. Yeah. The materials are very very good. It's just that the overall quality control on the shoe is not that good. I mean, but you get to see the glue marks here. I don't know if you can see it, the camera's catching it or not. You probably see something like here, this mark here. Yeah. Here, yeah. okay. I mean, it's not that bad, but uh, I did expect this to be, I mean, it's one of the most hype shoes, hype drops of this year so far, and I expect the quality to be top notch. So retailing at £165, which is not that bad, it's normal for Jordan 1 highs to be at that retail price, and it's been like that for the, over the years, however the resale, this is where it gets quite interesting because this is a colorway that it's, it's really held its real uh, resale price since its launch as well. It did go down a little bit, it was just reselling for over £400, £450, £500 close. But now, since the launch, it's still doing pretty good. So, what are the good sizes to resell? Pretty much all of them. There isn't a size I can think of that you can't go for. Or if you have like size 4 and 5, don't think you can't make money on it. It's just that right now, those sizes are not really performing that good compared to, you know, any size that is above 6 or 7. So, you're looking to make around 30 to 45 pound profit maybe up to 50 60 on those small smaller sizes however your sizes your 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so on and so on are making you more than 100 pound profit now again it really depends on your financial situation can you afford to hold on to this shoe stick to true to size yeah i think you should be okay i mean if you if you have had jordans if you had a pair of jordans before and uh, yeah, you shouldn't have an issue with uh, your normal size. If you're like, let's say you're a size seven and you, you wear Jordan size seven, you should be okay. Even in the low tops, mids, 
just go for the same size you should be okay with this but if you have never had a Jordan before and you like this colorway and this is something you want to go for this is probably going to be your first pair then I say you could stick to your shooter size but maybe just go a half size up just because over here they do come up quite tight and if you're going to wear if you're someone who likes to wear two layers of socks in let's say during winter you, you want to make sure you go half a size up just to give that extra room to know, make sure that you feel comfortable and you don't have the issue of your, you know, your feet you know you don't have you don't feel uncomfortable wearing them so i would probably say i would stick to true to size or just go half size up if this is going to be your first ever pair of jordan ones but yeah um for all the people out there who've had jordan's before stick to true to size okay guys that's it for today i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like turn the notification bell on and also subscribe as well i mean subscribe and then turn the notification bell on but yeah guys that's it for today Again, if you haven't got a pair of these, go grab them now. And I'll just list right now. There are raffles going on. Uh, I think size and Foot Patrol is restocking them, but it's going to be paid raffles, so they do take your money in advance. So do you know consider that if you're low on capital, don't do that. You know, probably just avoid it. But you could risk it as well. But yeah, so if you want to grab as many pairs as possible, enter those paid raffles now. And I probably think that this will restock for the next week or two, and then that's it. And uh, yeah, and uh, the prices will be picking up, and they are already picking up slowly by day by day. So if you can grab a pair now, it would be good, rather than in a six or seven months time, even a year's time, because then you'll be paying more than four or five hundred pounds for this colorway. And uh, you know, you want to avoid doing that. You want to get them at the best price as possible, and now is probably the time. So yeah. I mean that's it. that's it for me today guys, that's the review done in terms of this Jordan 1 High Lost and Founds, so yeah, until the next one, peace.